Strange Bedfellows. That's Brett Stevens, by the way, uh, talking about Hillary's uh, th this this huge scandal, which has just broke. And I have with me now Diana West, who's the author of American Betrayal and Death of the Grown Up. And Diana, uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sam. There you are. Uh, so I was talking yes. about Howard Dean, whose defense of Hillary is, hey, the money went to a good cause, <laughs> which is a very childish defense. And I, and I said, I bet Diana West is going to be able to tie Howard Dean's defense uh, into death of a grown-up because it's so childish. Well, it is childish. It, 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 sounds, it sounds also just very guilty. I mean, there, there's just a sense of, of this that is so... <laughs> Creepy, crawly, but the hands, it, 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 the hands in the cookie yeah. guard jar, the face is yeah. covered with chocolate. <laughs> yes, but, but I, I didn't mean, take the cookie, I gave it to the dog. <laughs> right, and isn't the dog nice? Yes, I mean, that is kind of the way it sounds. But I mean, these aren't cookies, these are, these are national security treasures. And of course, when, we, with the, when we're talking about the Clintons, we have to go back. This isn't the first time Bill Clinton, have people been talking or thinking back to the days when Bill Clinton signed away massive reserves of very low sulfur coal in America, in Utah, to a national park? shame and actually elevated him and made him into they they really they really um absolutely did everything possible to make him new again and and bring them both back onto the national stage and and this is a great shame so it isn't just that criminals behave criminally it's what about the rest of us who who still praise them and buy their books and and see them as leaders and indeed our own leaders on the conservative side do so much to enhance them and make us forget about the criminality. Yeah. Uh, uh, top of Drudge Report, it says Boehner, uh, Clintons are good people, <laughs> but at the same t at the same time, Bloomberg has a headline saying that uh, Boehner says Hillary Clinton broke the law in the handling of her email. I think they're going to try to go back to the email now because that's a much easier scandal to handle when you're talking about hundreds and millions hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars changing hands. Uh, I've got a headline up on Fox News. Many Clinton charity donors also got State Department awards under Hillary. So, right. so the question is, do you, do you believe that Hillary abused her power as Secretary of State? And, and, and the do problem I? is this, because you... No, well, I, I was act, asking rhetorically. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure I know where you stand. But, <laughs> but, um, but, but you... you you mentioned, you know, how complicit is the American public yes. in the scandalous dealings of Hillary Clinton? And the, unfortunately, the answer is we, we're the enablers. We and the, the enablers. problem is that when you ask the question, do you believe Hillary Clinton abused her power in the State Department? The answer of a liberal will be sure, but everybody does. And the yeah. answer of a conservative ought to be. Yes, and that's why I would never vote for a Clinton because they've used up their good their goodwill points. Do you know what I mean? Uh, sure. But the liberal will say, but everybody does. Yes, and it was for a good cause. <laughs> the liberal will say that yes, when it's when it's the liberal who is the offender. I, yes, and I think the notion of the American people enabling this behavior is really important to drill down on. And I, I just can't stop thinking about back in two thousand nine, when the Clinton Foundation did release a list of donors that had all of these clues there. I mean, the the, the countries that are on the list, the dealings that were were going down right up to the point where she was going to be confirmed by the Senate for Secretary of State. And and, and this this was this this material was really available. I mean, it was just a matter of digging a little, or not even just looking at the list of donors and saying, "Can this person be Secretary of State with so many ties to so many of these dictatorships and so on around the world that America has to deal with?" And go look at the Senate vote. The Senate voted to confirm Hillary Clinton in 2009, 94 to two. We had two upstanding votes from that would have been senator dement at the time and senator vitter that's it so this was a this was a this was a blank check for this behavior to go on now we have a fine journalist yes. peter schweitzer doing the work that congress should have done years ago i mean this this is oversight Co peter schweitzer's book is congressional oversight and thankfully the new york right. times and washington post are actually doing their job for whatever reason 
we can be grateful. But this is, this is the job of Congress. And again, we are the people who send Congress to work. So these are failings of ours. And, and this family... This but Diana, thing, you know, yes. it's frustrating. What do you do... When you when you elect you we uh, you, we had a great election in 2014. Sure, everybody was euphoric. We took power back in the House and the Senate. Things were going to change, and yet no. In fact, Boehner right. and and the House completely circumvented any possible change by approving the the budget uh, right. uh, uh, for a year. Not even just for you know for a temporary for a small amount of time so that the new Congress could start handling it. He circumvented the 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 elections, yes. uh, and and now the Republicans that are that are in the seats are not voting properly. Right. Loretta Lynch was just confirmed. What I, what do you you know where do you, so where what, do we what go do we do? from here? Well, you know, I guess I guess a vote, the act of voting is not sufficient, and the 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 voter must continue to bother. Yeah. His congressman, his senator, with letters, with calls. It's not a role that most people are comfortable with or have time for, but it probably is something that is extremely necessary to stay involved, to hold their feet to the fire. They do respond. When they get, when they get walls of phone call melting down the, 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 the switchboards at the Capitol, they do tend to pay attention. When they get a volume of letters yeah. on a certain subject, they do pay attention. So it is a matter of being angry enough and outraged enough and, and loving the country enough to just, to just throw that extra effort out there because it does actually add up and it does have an effect. It's very hard to get the average citizen to believe that he has such power or to motivate him to do it. But, you know, we are in a shambles. And, and the Clintons are, if anything, emblematic of where we are as people. You know, the, the, the famous, the famous uh, the story um, by Oscar Wilde, the portrait of Dorian Gray, where the, the true face of the evil person is on a portrait hidden away in a room. And the, the person looks very lovely on the outside, but the portrait shows the soul. Well, I feel the Clintons are our portrait. This is really the soul of America in the sense that this is what we enable. This is what we can't stop. This is what represents us around the world. This is what is setting policy. And indeed, even with all of this, this could be president again. And it's just a continuation of this this betrayal. The Clinton administration, the first time around, was a series of betrayals, and it's just continued. And it's just continued. And 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 here's the thing that that that's so important is you know I, I say that we as a country have been groomed so we now accept our abusers right they they're abusing us yeah she certainly has abused her power uh, sure. you know and and that kind of thing but but at some point you can go to a shelter and uh, and recover from being battered right and so I think that time has come I think it's time for us to realize that we should no longer accept this abuse uh, and and yeah. Okay. Diana West, thank you so much for coming on. Go to dianawest.net and also check out her book, American Betrayal uh, and Death of the Grown Up Both. The Lou-